three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast. What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody failing in today? Welcome back to another video and in today's video my people I'm gonna be showing you how to get shades of the one and only D'Angelo Russell my people this man D'Angelo Russell has been hooping. He's been doing his thing He's been balling. All right, so I had to make a D'Angelo Russell build I made one last year's 2k, but I'm gonna give you now a 2k24 version of D'Angelo Russell. This is going to be a great build too because the way that I built this build, you're going to be able to, um, you know, do a lot of what you would want. You know what I mean? Like shoot, play, make, um, you know, play a little bit of defense. But let's see what we're working with in terms of the attributes. So as you can see, right, you're going to go to the attributes. First things first, we have a high driving layup of an 88. We already know 88 gives you all of the layer packages. That's going to be great to be able to have that. Uh, the driving dunk this is all you need you get the basic dunk packages at 45 but you also get the cj mccullum dunk package which is a great dunk package as well um to me dunking is overrated unless you're trying to make a particular build if you could just get the easy 45 dunks then you're perfectly fine close shot at 83 i speak highly of you know having a high close shot i think it's it's essential because you know if you have close shot then you'll be able to you know um expand your game and you won't just be limited to such things mid-range shot of an 82 three-point shot of an 85 this is great because you get good bases by going 82 and you get some badges 85 gives you limitless on bronze so that's listen that's gonna be great hit consistent three-pointers and you get good jump shot bases as well 80 free throw gives you the silver free point so that's dope 60 post control not bad all right 60 post control that's pretty good uh, not a playmaker so 87 pass accuracy we already know you get a lot of great passing um badges just by having an 87 and you also get bailout on bronze that's the you know that's the amount that you would need for at least bronze okay uh ball handle 90 that's fantastic and 81 to be with the ball so playmaking is there right now we look at the defense the defense is not that good i'll be honest um you don't really get that much any good badges here at all but the way i made it you're gonna see it's gonna be very good all right now we look at the speed so nice um um as you call it physical speed is great acceleration some decent strength vertical is a 71 with the 93 stamina so this build is looking good all right so we're gonna go to the mob player builder and create the one and only d'angelo russell all right my people so we're in the mob player builder and as you can see right first and last name d'angelo russell uh right uh left hand he's left-handed jersey number is number one now when it comes to this build uh you want to stay at point guard you want to go 63 you want to drop that weight to 193 and then you want to put that wingspan to 610 all right 610 is going to be perfect because that's his wingspan so this is all his exact attributes all right now first things first right stamina we're going with a 95 stamina all right that's going to be more than enough to get the job done we're going with that 71 on the vert because that's what he had the strength we're going 60 on the strength all right and then for the acceleration we're going 83 all right 83 and then the speed we're going 82 all right so he only had 81 81 for speed and acceleration i just decided to go with this just so i could get a couple nice badges to make this build a little more better now right he didn't have that much you know rebounding or defense in general but i gave him a 51 defensive and then i gave him a 50 on the um, offensive the block i just went to 50. no badges get unlocked by going 50 but i just went 50. But still i decided to at least go 60. he didn't even have that but i wanted to at least get interceptor on 60. um i mean having it on bronze not even just 60 but to have still on bronze at least just so i could get those passing lane animations and he didn't have no perimeter but guess what i did i went all the way up my people to a 75 all right so i wanted to at least get clamps and a couple other of the bronze defensive badges so now just based off the physicals and then the defensive attributes this build is already better than the attributes that 2k had for him all right so this build is already looking amazing now 
for the interior defense, I just decided to go with a 50, all right? So this is gonna be good. You have a 75 perimeter defense, right? And you get some other great bronze badges as well as that silver off-ball pass. That's gonna be helpful. To be honest, 94 feet is cool, but I don't really be caring for 94 feet. It's cool to have it, but it's not really a big deal. The speed with ball, we're going 83, my people, okay? The reason I went 83 is because if you go 83 speed with the ball, you see that you get that hyper drive on gold. This is going to be a great badge uh, and increases dribbling skills while on the move. So this is going to be nice. Of course, we're going with that 90 ball handle because that's what D-Lo had. So that's what we're going to give him. 87 pass accuracy, my people. That's what he had. And like I said earlier, you need at least 87 foot bronze bailout but you see you get all these other great badges silver and gold badges this build is already looking amazing 80 on the free throw because that's what he had so we're gonna honor that and give him that three point shot was at 85 my people so we know 85 gives us the catch and shoot on gold limitless range on bronze that's what we want and we're going mid range of an 82 so 82 gives us guard up on gold so you can see this build is really good just having that 75 perimeter is going to help you play better defense i'm telling you you don't want to go with his actual attributes because it's not going to be playable just having a little bit of a perimeter with the 60 still just changes the game now we're going with that 60 post control so we're going to honor that because that's what he had right and then we're gonna go drive and dunk up a 45, my people. Now, for the driving layup, I wanted to definitely honor that too. So if you go in 88, this is gonna give you float game on Hall of Fame. But not only that, you unlock every layup package that is possible to unlock with an 85. This build is already looking amazing. Now, we're going 84 on the close shot by going 84 you see you get the mashup but you also get all these great bronze hall of fame silver and gold badges my people this is a playable build this build can dominate in the right hands you see the playmaking you get a lot of great um you know badges silver and some golds i definitely went 60 just so i could get the physical handles um you have to have a 60 oh you have to have a 63 in order to get the silver so you know what we could do we could probably drop this right okay so we're not going to be able to hold on let me see something okay so if we go 195 we'll be able to get the silver right be able to get that silver and then we can just you know just put the rest of the attributes somewhere like this right but we should still be able to get d'angelo russell to be honest um you should definitely still be able to get him as you can see number one shades of d'angelo russell i'm sure we could probably you know take the block off completely and add the attributes somewhere else but this is the build we made his exact build he was a playmaking three level threat this is his exact build right here, all right? So y'all let me know what I thought about this build. And until next time, much love.